Hey guys, this is RLC321's fantastic plastic coming back again with another model kit. No, it's not actually a model kit thing. It's um, I've got two unboxing videos to do because um, they're going to be future future kits that I'm going to be doing. And so I thought, you know, I'm, I'm, I might as well do some unboxing videos while I'm waiting for things. Um, mainly because I've, I've screwed up on a few things. Um, let me see if I can find one. So here, I wanted light to come through these bits on the JJ price, but I totally screwed it up and it wasn't straight or, or anything like that. And so I'm having to fill it up with my, my plastic glue, my um, sprues that I had that I put some glue in and let it all melt. I sanded it all down. And this time I'm gonna drill holes. I'm gonna draw with my, with a knife and some, well, not my knife, with my, scalpel and a ruler a straight line and just keep doing that until I get a nice straight lines through those that's the only thing I could think of so I can get a nice decent line coming out of that so I kind of like screwed up on that and and that's I'm waiting for that to fully dry before I can do anything with it so let's go with the very first unboxing and the first one up is Star Trek reveals Kazon Fighter. Yes, and I'm going to try to light it. <clears throat> Which is going to be interesting because it doesn't really have that many windows or, or anything like that. It does have some. If we can look on here, you've got some windows there. Where this is where the, the... There and there. I want to get these to light up. This lights up here as well. Get some flashing or something on going on at the the top here. You know, get a little glow behind here, possibly. I don't know. It's going to be interesting because it's a. I've done one of these kits years ago when I first started modelling, many, many, many moons ago. It's about 33 centimeters long when it's fully finished. So let's pull the bits out and let's have a little look. See, put that back down there. Okay, so you got your basic instructions from Ravel. I mean, this is an older kit. I actually got this quite cheaply on eBay. It looks like it's a re-release, 2009. No, it's not a re-release. No, it's not, it's 2009. Yeah, that's about right. It's still like an old, old kit. Now, as I say, you've got your, your parts count, which is good. And then you've got your instructions to glue it all together and everything like that. And it's, it's a glue together kit, it's not a snap together kit. And some bits that need painting, we're going to have like glowing engines at the back here. No, no, you can't see that. There we go. At the back here, we're going to have some glowing engines. Get a little bit of glow inside there as well, if possible. Um, Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be an interesting kit as I say, I haven't done the Kazon fighter for such, such a long time. And luckily the decals show you where the windows are. So what I might do is place the windows on there, and but then just drill out where, where, where the decal, once the decal is dry, drill out the windows using the decals as a guide. So I'm, I'm de definitely going to be doing that, and I'm going to because they, I, I do believe, I don't need to know about that one. The windows, the decals for the windows at least, are orange in colour. I don't know if we can see that here. I mean, these these decals looks like they've seen better days, but they're they're orange. So the interior, the lights I'm going to do are going to be a slight orange colour. So that's the instructions. Let's have a little look at some of the parts. Cool, jeez. Plastic's very soft. I don't know if that's because of the age of the kit or something like that, but it's it's quite springy. Yeah, these decals definitely have seen better days. 
but they should still be workable I only because I only really need these two here that's all I really need these I'm just going to be using for window masks and templates but the as I say looking at it the, the detail looks quite well quite good it's still there you know lots of <coughs> excuse me different things to do looks there's the top half of the ship here and I don't think this is gonna let any light through or if it does it's not gonna be a lot um, and I put my torch there it is let's have a little look see no it, it is gonna let it is gonna let light through so we're definitely gonna have to light block it as well Mind you saying that? No, 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 because if I try, because even if I do that, it's, it's not going to be bright enough for windows. Uh, I do apologise about that vibrator that's just finished. It's not a vibrator, I promise you. It's my... Oh, it's a, a jewellery cleaner that I'm, I'm using to clean my airbrush with. And here's some more parts. There's another part that fell off in the bag. There, that's part of the stand right there some of the detail does look a little bit soft to me i don't know if that's just me being picky because i mean it's such an old kit it's probably just me being picky because i'm so used to newer kits with extreme amount of detail and things like that but it's still going to be a good build and 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 get it get it get in get in there come on you know you want to you do it it doesn't want to get in it's not going in right I'm, I'm gonna get this in even if it kills me I will now what you stuck up you stuck on them now okay right These are not easy to get back in there <clears throat> I'll deal with that later Get the other one out. Uh, <coughs> excuse me again. Mm. And no, I've got a cough because it's um, my hay fever is really, really playing up at the minute, and it's kicking my backside. Right, so here's some more parts. Here's the. This gives you a rough idea of how big the ship is going to be. This is quite a nice size on the on the ship. I mean, this is what I mean by some of the details being a bit soft. If we go just have a look there. You know, it's not quite as crisp as some of the newer kits that are out. I mean, it's still good. It's still workable. And especially down there. I don't know if we can get that to zoom in that way. Nope, microphone in the way. Hello. Hello. Are you, are you too close to zoom in there? can you just about do it yeah uh, and obviously this is the other parts now it's here that's going to cause me the problems because I'm going to have to try and cut that out and then put something in there so I can make it glow and I think this part glows as well as part of the engine these are like just painted different colours inside there but as I say, it's going to be a, a good, interesting kit because, as I say, I haven't built one of these in such a long time. It was literally when I first started building models. I mean, it was before my daughter was born, and she was when I first started. Well, tell, that's not technically true because I was building other kinds of model kits when I was a little kid with with my dad. But that don't count because <clears throat> I didn't do anything for years afterwards when I really got into it properly is before my, my, my daughter was born and she's 18 now so there we go that's the Kazon fighter which is <laughs> okay um, which is gonna be on my next to do oh I've got my compressor on as well jeez please there we go which is gonna be on my to-do list so, so that's going to be another build that's coming up in the in the future. I want to finish obviously the clients, 
Voyager first before I do the the Kazon. And oh, the, the the decals. Don't want to forget those. Let's put them in there. Um, and I want to finish my JJ prize as well. And then obviously I've got the uh, Star Trek the USS Franklin to do. And I've got another unboxing video to do after this. So I'm going to say thank you very much, guys. And I will see you in the next video. You take care of yourselves. Goodbye now.